speak. Alrighty, Morgan. Uh, this is Charlie Sixulu. We are back again with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. We are continuing to burn through the wreck castle. But we are making our way into the basement at least. Uh, that puts almost halfway through the first part of this castle. It shall be done. Castle's a fucking pain in the ass is what it is. Actually, it's about the halfway part, because I believe after this... Yep. As you say. Unlock some more mushrooms. I always snort those mushrooms. And Very well. Oh, look, studded leather armor and trunk. Actually, that is actually better than what I have. Hold on. God damn it. It smells like shit. Oh, it's better than what I got. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Another gift. Ooh, a love letter. Let's read it. Oh god. Oh god, it's more. There's more of them. Nope, nope, I'm not reading those. Fuck that. We're heading out. We're getting out of here. One of the toughest fights, in my opinion. But the best way to do this is fuck off and ignore them all. And open the gate. I shall do Charge! it. Oh, this The Liana, you take a lesser. Never mind. The battle, knights of That's three knights dead. Good. Took him down. Many of the knights ended up dying. Get up there. I shall do it. Fun fact, you also get uh it's the elf. The elf ends up siding with the knights, uh, the one I sent away. Uh, if you help, you he actually, I'm pretty sure, helps in this fight. But yeah, all the knights died. Oh, darn, that's terrible. What a tragedy. I'm pretty sure the Sir Perth was one of them. Damn, what a tragedy. Everyone's dead. I'm really good at this, guys. I'm really good at keeping people alive. Oh, speaking of keeping people alive, what, what is your penalty? Uh, penalty to magic. Oh, I don't care about that. You don't use magic. Oh, there's another dead knight. Yep. As you say. You almost it made begun. it. Almost made it. I'm sure they'll get more. Knights don't take a long time to train. This seems normal. So these are our visitors. The ones you told me about, Mother. Y yes Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This is an elf, Connor. You... You've seen elves before. We have them here in the castle. Oh, I remember. I had their ears cut off and fed to the dogs. The dogs chewed for hours. 
Shall I send it to the kennels, mother? I killed Connor, the dogs. I beg you. Don't hurt anyone. Ma mother? What? What's happening? Where am I? Oh, thank the maker. Connor. Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman. You are beginning to bore me. Grey Warden, please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. He has been possessed by a goddamn demon. So he is the evil force he spoke of. No! Don't say that! So, the boy has become an abomination and sundered the veil. Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. That's not how that works. And made a deal with the yep. demon to do so? Foolish child. It was a fair deal. Father is alive. Just as I wanted. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody! Ha 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 ha! Quiet, Uncle! I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting, didn't I? Yes, I did. But let's keep things civil. This man will have the audience he seeks. Tell us, what have you come here for? I need to see our Lehman. Oh, you're a concerned well-wisher. Why didn't you say that in the first place? All this sneaking around and killing is so unnecessary. But father is so very ill. We really shouldn't disturb him. Isn't that right, mother? I... I don't think... That's right. Of course you don't. Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. I crave excitement and action. This man spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village, and now he'll repay me. Yeah! Yep. Yeah! Watch out! Some the wolf again. Lots of crossbows. See if I can save oh, Alistair. Yeah. Okay, I saved him. I saved fucking Alistair. I did not expect that to happen. Alright, another That's battle it. I see. I got Try it. Them all. I should heal him up fully. Stun him. There we go. Tegan. Oh, Tegan. Are you all right? I am better now, I think. My mind is my own again. Blessed Andraste. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. What a fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. Well, as you can see by these pile of dead bodies, I am the greatest hero of our day. You knew about this all along. I... Yes. I didn't tell you because I believed we could help him. I still do. Clearly the child is an abomination. There is only one way to stop it. He's not always the demon you saw. 
Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please, I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret, to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... So, where is Arl Eamon, by the way? Upstairs in his room. I think the demon has been keeping him alive. So if we destroy the demon, then... Then my husband may perish. Yes. Well, what are our options? I wouldn't normally suggest slaying a child, but... He's an abomination. I'm not sure there's any choice. We can't kill a young boy. Demon or no demon. Please don't say we're considering that. Connor is my nephew. But... He is also possessed by a demon. Death would be... Merciful. No! What... What about the mage? He could know something of this demon? If he still lives, we could speak to him. Oh, he's down in the dungeon, still alive. Then we should bring him here immediately. I... I do not know how much we can trust him. But we must find out what he knows. Tigan, could you find him? I... will try. Though if he resists, I will not hesitate to kill him. I'll return shortly. You're lucky to be alive, Jowan. After all you've done. I didn't summon any demon, Lady Isolde. But I did poison the Arl, and that started all this. I'm willing to help if you'll let me. The demon in Connor needs to be destroyed. Killing Connor is the easiest way to do that, certainly. But there is another way. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade, without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt, and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade, then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages, but I have... blood magic. And what difference does that make? Lyrium provides the power for the ritual, but I can take that power from someone's life energy. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. All of it, in fact. So, someone must die? Someone must be sacrificed? Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. So... It's a real Sophie's choice. Do we let someone else die, or do we kill the child? Interesting option. Is there no other method? The power has to come from somewhere, and that means either lyrium or blood. Then let it be my blood. I will be the sacrifice. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me... The answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. It does seem like a sensible choice, with a willing participant. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. It... Uh, it's up to you, my friend. You know more about such things than I do, and it's your companion going into the Fade. The decision is yours. Well... There must be another way to enter the Fade. You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do it. Well, the sir, well, in this Sophie's Choice, we can sacrifice the mother, we can sacrifice the child, or neither of them. <laughs> the issue is it's possibly time. Time they might not have. But the Circle Tower isn't far from here. That is an excellent point. One of the treaties is also for the Circle of Magi, of after all. The tower is about a day's journey across the lake. You could attempt to get the Mage's help. 
But what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. I'll take that chance. Very well. I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. He says he wants to help, so he will keep an eye on Connor with us. Exactly. Go to the tower quickly, then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. So, here we go. I'm going to quickly save because I don't remember if this forces the confrontation or not. There's a bunch of motherfuckers in there. More enemies ahead! Yep, there they go. So be Spawning. It. As you say. I don't know, I saw it stun a suit of armor. Also doing shit damage. Run while you can. Alistair needs to heal, and Liliana needs to heal. Too easy. Let's end this. <laughs> Try not to look too incompetent. It's embarrassing. Well, that's hurtful. All right, Morrigan needs healing, so let's give her the Greater Lyrium. Begin the onslaught. Make a preserve. It's your time to die. Go guys. Nice fight, nice fight, what nice now? fight. All right, let's pump. Sure. That's fine. Pump tactics up a little bit. Would give her bear shape. I don't think we use that too often. Uh, I can use. To pump at entropy a bit while active. This guy's draw, draining resist, draw, I'm any demo. Yep, let's. Oop, did not mean to pump that one. There we go. Now, with all those guys dead, uh, in this desk. Yep, there we go. Let me take that. For reasons. Reasons that we won't touch on. Oh, what's in here? go as you say thank you I need that for reasons also speaking of reasons ah, yes and another ring nice and some actually good injury kits shall be done uh, that's good yep 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 
Steel. Uh, Alistair, what do you wear? Heavy chainmail and steel. No, I'll take that anyways, just in case someone else needs it. And some silver. Nice. We aren't going up there yet. Aw, it's locked. Anyways. Dead guard. These guards have delicious silver on them. Ooh, a metal shard for traps. Good thing I make those. Alright, with that done, let us make our way out towards the tower where I'm sure there's going to be no incidents whatsoever. The tower is going to be good, safe, and secure. Uh, but speaking of traveling... Doo -doo -doo. Let's rearrange the party a little bit because I don't need Morgan because of spoilers. But I think because my favorite, uh, let me see if I have boots, because if so, I'll bring Sven with me. No, I still don't have any fucking boots. Hey, do you have boots, bro? Uh, Bodan? Bodan! Are you sure I can't interest you in this hat? A pair of earrings, mm. perhaps? A cheese knife? How about some boots? Let me see your wares. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. Alrighty. Oh, whatever. I'm sorry, Sten. Only boots I have. Let's get you out there. Those are some fancy leather boots. All right. Make our boy stronger. Do that. No, we could do. I know what party I want to bring. Liliana's going to get replaced, but yes. boop, boop, boop. Indeed. Actually, yeah, of Liliana. The... Yes. There we go. Sten's not staying very long. Uh, Sten is needed for a very important conversation, and why the fuck are we going that way? Is that really faster? Oh no! Oh, actually, oh no! We actually got one of the toughest combats for the early game randoms, which is really annoying. Because of that same overwhelm ability that kind of fucks over, uh... Others is fucking us over now. It is begun. As you say, there is no glory in bloodshed. All right, we got him, and there's nothing good off of any of them, which really sucks. On top of it all, all right, penalty to Khan. Yep, we're gonna give him a lesser injury kit. What now? Penalty to damage. Yeah, you're gonna need that as well in case we come up with another random encounter, which could happen. Uh. Let's see if we can find anything useful. Some out fruit. Really, the only good thing I think you get from this whole thing. Oh, some death root as well, so I can make some more poisons. Let's as get the fuck said. out of here. 
We continue on our way. What is that smell? Well, it tends to smell something weird. But some more death root. Looks like a deserter, some shady thugs. Caster's here. Wow, I've never seen one of you knife ears dressed like the King of Ferelden before. You made good for yourself, eh? And who are you? I'm the ferryman. At least wise I used to be. Poor old Kester. Out of a job. Hmm. Yeah. So I can't cross? just came down and said, Don't you worry, Kester, we got it all under control, we do. Didn't say nothing else. And then he puts Carol in charge of my boat. Lissy. Named for my grandmum she was. Damn, that is terrible. Uh, is there something wrong up at the tower? Hopefully it's fine, because I kind of need them for a time-sensitive mission. I told you, they didn't tell me nothing. And if I know they're mages, I'm better off keeping out of their business. If I had to guess, I'd guess it had to do with magic. But the tower's always got something to do with magic. All right, so is there no way to get across? You could try swimming, but I don't recommend it. Nasty things in that lake. I reckon it's all them potions they dump in there. Gregor's told me to stay here till it blows over. But I'm telling you, some storms don't blow over easy. Goddamn magical pollutions. Well, I can... Uh, well, thank you for your help. You're too kind. Your type don't usually give my type the time of day. You're the Grey Warden, aren't you? Exactly who I was hoping to meet. I represent a collective of mages interested in going about their lives without the constant scrutiny of the Chantry. Mm. Well, you're in a very interesting place. Now, how can I help you? Next to me, and in every major settlement, you will find an inconspicuous sack containing requests from mages all over the land who need the assistance of someone skillful and discreet. Well, that's definitely me. You should see how many body, how many people I leave alive. I'm really good at that, keeping people alive. Well, I can take a look at these requests. Thank you, my friend. We have agents in every major settlement to reward you for work done on behalf of the Collective. Make us smile upon you. All right, well, is this the sack you're talking about? Yep, elf root. Thank you. All right, let's see what the bag has. Forest, the deep roads, the hearts of Denmark, and near the base of the Circle Tower. False witnesses. Uh, I have no idea. Yeah, sure, I'll just accept these all, and then I'll decide whether to take them or not. I don't actually care. No. It is begun. Ooh, a sack. Is this the sack he was talking about? Yep, definitely. Yep. How about this one? Yep. Uh, the Spoiled Princess. I don't feel like going in there right now. We're in a bit of a hurry. But not too much of a hurry to talk to this what guy. What business would the mighty Grey Wardens have with a man like me? I'm here on behalf of the Blackstone Irregulars. Oh? What is this about? I hear you've stolen supplies from the guilds. How sad it is to see a Grey Warden manipulated. But I have no time to straighten this out for you. Men, let's teach the Grey Warden a lesson about trust. Well, now that we have one dog, let's summon another. And that. I have silenced it. I will not fail. That's right. My blood. I shall do it. For sure. More chainmail. Speaking of, let's see if there's anything good for Sven. What do you carry? Hey, Bea. Gray iron. So let's switch you to steel, which is better. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And the Soldier's Hound. Soldier's Helm is not as good. How about for you? Yeah, same. It's just the same. Okay. Alright. Ah, there's the Templar. Yeah. 
You. You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. Well, I'm a Grey Warden, and I need assistance of the mages. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Prove it. Uh, I have these documents here. Yes. Oh, a Grey Warden seal. Aha! So you're claiming to be one of those. You know, I have some documents, too. They say I'm the Queen of Antiva. What do you think of that? Well... Aren't queens female? Don't question royalty. Fair enough. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now, on your way, right now, go. <laughs> Can we make something work out? Hmm. I don't know. I am feeling a little peckish, though. You want me to feed you? Parshera, here. Munch on these if you like. Oh, cookies! I am content to part with them if it saves us from this fool. Now, where did you get cookies? Because I wanted some, too. There was a child, a fat, slovenly thing, in the last village we passed. I relieved him of these confections. He didn't need more. No. Oh, very well, then. Mm. Yummy. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, yes? We can go across now, if you really want. I want you to know, this guy's about to let us pass into a place. By the way, this is a military order. He's been ordered not to let anyone pass. He does it because we fed him cookies. Come along, I suppose. Let's get going. That's how it's done. Oh, I don't know why they're giving us so much hassle. There's obviously nothing wrong at this tower. Definitely not my least favorite mission of all time. And the only reason I went to Redcliffe first before the tower. It was definitely not because of the mission show, about to show up. And I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I see, Senor. Are, are they keeping people out or in? Now we wait and pray. You're Gregor, I assume? Who are you? I explicitly <laughs> told Carol not to bring anyone across the lake. We're dealing with a very delicate situation. You must leave for your own safety. Well, uh, no, the oblig the mages have an obligation to the Grey Wardens. I am weary of the Grey Wardens' ceaseless need for men to fight the Darkspawn, but it is their right. You'll find no allies here. The Templars can spare no men, and the mages are indisposed. I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. I'm sorry, what? Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. This is why we cut the tongues from mages in Parvalen. I will admit to agreeing with your companion. <laughs> Maker knows the Kunari would not have gotten themselves into this position. Oh, I can't wait for Inquisition. Actually, even two has them. Okay. Uh, well, sounds... How did this happen? We don't know. We saw only demons hunting Templars and mages alike. I realized we could not defeat them and told my men to flee. No, you locked the mages inside. Now, what can I do to help? I have sent word to Denerim, calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. The right of annulment? The right of annulment gives Templars the authority to neutralize the mage circle. Completely. Some spring the cleaning. Are probably already dead. Any abominations remaining in there must be dealt with, no matter what. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. Well, the mages are not defenseless. Some must still live. If any are still alive, the Maker himself has shielded them. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. It is too painful to hope for survivors and find nothing. That is a true statement. Despite everything Gregor says, he is a kinder man. God damn. Yeah. It's painful to hope for survivors and get and find nothing. Well 
I'll look for survivors. I assure you, an abomination is a force to be reckoned with, and you will face more than one. I must try. Nah, I have confidence in my abilities. I'm not a good guy. I, killed too, I let too many people die. If you succeed, I would owe you much. Enough that I would pledge my Templars to your cause. Without word from Denerim, I must determine our course. Surely destroying Darkspawn is a worthy goal. Yep. Well then, we have an agreement then. A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. Yep. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. So unlike in the other missions, uh, Irving does have to live. You can't My just win. My wounds! They burn! It's unbearable! This little bitch. All right. Hello, Quartermaster. I wish this were over. We're running low on supplies, and I don't know how much longer we'll last. Well, uh, do you need any help? We need the abominations and demons out of this place, if that's what you mean. If you have anything to trade, that would be helpful, too. Sure. All right, let's trade. All right, let's buy some shit. Uh, I need all of you, and all of you. Uh-huh. All of them. Uh, yep, all of these as well. This is what you mean by trading, right? Like, you know, you just get a shit ton of money. Uh, that's useful. Oh shit, I went the wrong way. I uh, needed to go this way. I'm a fucking idiot. Uh, hold on, let me buy back everything. I'm a genius, guys. Don't mind me. Definitely gonna. If I was smart, I would cut this out, but I'm not going to. Pretty sure, yep. He sells them for more back. Oh, uh, God. Uh, things I will sell, though, is uh, this. Fuck that. Thorn's nice, so is these. Anduil's. Oh, yeah, it's that. Fucking Anduil's Blessing. If you can get enough money for this, yeah. <laughs> That's god tier. Alright, other. Let's get three of these. Alright. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sell. 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 Yeah. I'll just take two Lyrium potions. That should be good. Alright. Well, you know what? Since we are probably going to die, Alistair, I do have something for you. Alistair, here you go. This, this is my mother's amulet. It has to be. But why isn't it broken? Where did you find it? Oh, I found it in Redcliffe Castle in the study. Oh, the Arl study? Yep, I just stole it. And he must have found the amulet after I threw it at the wall. And he repaired it and kept it. I don't understand. Why would he do that? Alistair, you watched me rob the Arl's desk. With you there. But, uh, maybe he meant to give it back to you. Maybe he did. He might even have brought it with him one of those times he came to see me at the monastery. Not that I would have given him a chance, as belligerent as I was to him. Thank you. I mean it. I thought I'd lost this to my own stupidity. I'll need to talk to him about this if he recovers from his... When he recovers, that is. I wish I'd had this a long time ago. Did you remember me mentioning it? Wow. Huh. I'm more used to people not really listening when I go on about things. Why, oh, did you say something? <laughs> Sorry, did you say something? Ho, ho, ho. See this gesture I'm making? Can you hear that? <laughs> Finally. The best actual companion in this party, the greatest of all time, you get a lamb bone. Here you go, buddy. I hope you like. This All right. is the prison for your it mages. Shall be done. Ours is not so grand. 
Uh huh. Well, boys, I'm sure, based off those dead bodies, there's nothing bad on the other side. Without a doubt. That's not ominous. Not in the slightest. Oh, what's in here? Oh. Uh. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh, chest. More lyrium. What? What? Okay, apparently there's, uh, something in the basement. Funnily enough, uh, Maybe that Yorin guy... Go. I don't know if I said it last time, that Yorin guy from, uh, Redcliffe. Uh, if you play as the mage, circle mage, uh, start point, you actually meet him. He's one of your friends. And he straight up screws you over. Like the dick he is. He's a piece of shit malificer. Actually, that's pretty nice. Three defense. Uh, let's give this... Alistair have anything on his belt. Alistair actually needs sh more shit on him, because he does not last very long. So you take that, and you keep yourself strong up on defense. Well... Look at that. Look, it's, it's completely fine in this tower. Oh, yep. Completely fine. It's you. No, come no further. Grey Warden or no, I will strike you down where you stand. Well, when? Wh what are you doing here? I am a mage of the Circle. More <laughs> importantly, why are you here? The Templars would not let just anyone by. I'm here to s seeking the age of the mages. And you were told that the Circle was in no shape to help you, I suppose. So why did the Templars let you in? Do they plan to attack the tower now? No, uh, yeah, don't worry. The right of annulment has not arrived. <sighs> they sent for it then. I feared they might have. What else could they do? So Gregor thinks the circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. They abandoned us to our fate. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. If they invoke the right, however, we will not be able to stand against them. Well, uh, what happened here? Let it suffice to say that we had something of a revolt on our hands, led by a mage named Aldred. When he returned from the battle at Ostagar, he tried to take over the Circle. As you can see, it didn't work out as he had planned. I don't know what became of Aldred, but I am certain all this is his doing. I will not lose the Circle to one man's pride and stupidity. Well... What do you intend? I erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower, so nothing from inside could attack the children. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I will dispel it if you join with me to save this circle. Very well, I will help you. Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. Gregor will only accept it if the First Enchanter says so. Then our path is laid out before us. We must save Irving. Will the children be safe here? Petra and Kenan will watch them. If we slay all the fiends we encounter on our way, none will get by to threaten the children. All right, uh, well, I suppose that could work. Petra, Kenan, look after the others. I will be back soon. When? Are you sure you're all right? You were so badly hurt earlier. Maybe I should come along. The others need your protection more. I will be all right. Stay here with them. Keep them safe and calm. Well, let us... Let us be off. We have talked away enough time. If you are ready, let us go end this. Now. 
Though as much as I wouldn't want Alistair here, and I'd actually prefer Sven, Alistair has a very powerful subclass yes. for this mission. And I want the dog. Yeah, I prefer the dog. Uh, Alistair has an important subclass, which I don't think has been started yet. We have to take a look. Yep, Righteous Strikes. Yep, there you go. It's a passive skill the Templar has, and then once we get to level 9, he'll be able to cleanse the area, removing all magical effects that are hostile to us. Now then, uh, this... two things. One, uh, do not bring Morgan here, because then, if you don't know the right dialogue, you will have to kill everyone here. God damn it, Morgan's a piece of shit sometimes. But also, welcome to the best fucking healer in the game. The main healer. Fucking win here is a spirit healer, which gets group heal, revivals. Fucking she's got regen, rejuvenate, like, this is her bread and butter. Like, look at this. Win. Uh, Alright, let's get some more heals. Say 50%. Use an ability, and you want to use group heal, and that is actually if. One gets to 25%. And an ally drops to zero. Knockdown, you will activate. No, you will use an ability known as. I think it's Rejuvenate. Uh, no, uh, Rejuvenate is not that one. Uh, so we would actually remove this out of it. We don't have that yet. So let's actually do Health 50. Then we will pop Regeneration as well. Alright, we'll save that preset. Yep, we'll leave that as it is for now. We'll probably mess with it a bit later. I just wanted to add a little more healing real fast. I'm somewhat amazed at myself for having kept it in place this long. Well, you did what you had to, win. It made me very weary at times. But I had to stay strong to keep us safe. Be prepared for anything. I do not know what manner of beasts lurk beyond this barrier. Are you ready? Well, I am ready. Destroy this barrier. All right. Be on your guard. But yeah, Sven is a fucking... Or, not Sven. Uh, Wynn is probably one of the most powerful... Is the main healer in the game. This is the spirit healer ability. So not only is she just a normal healer, she's got no, additional healing. It always comes to this, doesn't it? <sighs> Only with you. Let's have it. Yep. You say. And they like to blow themselves up. Yep. So much nicer. Do you not notice how much nicer that was with all those fucking heels? Uh, basically. Though I love Morgan, Morgan is not going to be getting I a lot of love. It. Well, <laughs> she might be. Just not in combat. Uh, and the reason being is just Win is so much more useful to the party. I might run a double uh, heal or double mage build, and that would have Morgan, but Win it becomes very instrumental to the fucking party. I like how they just gave me fucking six health potions. Well... Pull back, pull back. Oh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot about this. I love how we have no more regular healing potions now. Glory and bloodshed! 
Actually, regeneration, that is, uh, win. Regen, that's, uh, yeah, so we do have revival. Alright, good to know. How's regeneration? Yep. Alright, win. Real fast, you do have revival. Ally, how, uh, status. Okay, it's not on there. If someone drops to zero, I'll have to raise him back from the dead. Alright. There we go. Everyone heal, everyone heal. Yeah, these Templars carry a shit ton of healing potions on them, so if we can find one that we can loot, it's always nice. Always useful. Yep. Oh. Yep. You Ow. When get out of there. Immediately. Very well. Heal when needs. If I forget when is second. It is a fine thing we've done. Well, good job, everyone. Should be yep, another soldier. Another three delicious, delicious. Very well. Healing potions. All right. Oh, let's dress win up. Win here. Give you mental resistance. Oh, we can really put on you for now. Uh huh. Uh huh. Where is there's the revival? So if anyone goes down, you just revive them with that. All right. And yeah, that revival ability is so early on is why you need to get win. To be perfectly honest, love Mortigan to death, but uh, her shape changes are not useful. Owain's room is near here. I hope he's all right. Who? Please refrain from going into the stock room. It is a mess, and I've not been able to get it into a state fit to be seen. Well, uh, who are you? I am called Owain, and I manage the Circle's magical stockroom. I was trying to tidy up, but there was little I could do. Well, uh, why are you cleaning it, cleaning in a time like this? The stockroom is my responsibility. I must keep it clean. I tried to leave when things got quiet. That was when I encountered the barrier. Finding no other way out, I returned to work. Owain, you should have said something. I would have opened the door for you. The stock room is familiar. I prefer to be here. All right, it seems safe enough for now. I would prefer not to die. I would prefer it if the tower returned to the way it was. Perhaps Nial will succeed and save us all. Suc succeed at what? I do not know. But he came here with several others and took the litany of Adrala. But that protects from mind domination. Is blood magic at work here? I do not know. Niall was in the meeting. He would know. Blood magic. I was afraid of this. Well, what am I supposed to do now? We should find Niall. The litany will give us a fighting chance against any blood mages we encounter. I wish you luck. Perhaps this will be over soon and things will return to the way they were. Goodbye. Well, if not, we will all die. That makes you feel better. Charred corpse. And a water stained portrait. Well enough, I'm pretty sure that's for Sven. Uh, but I think with that, we made it to the second floor. We've discovered a bit about what's going on. Looks like we're looking for this Niel guy because there might be blood magic at play. Blood magic, blood magic everywhere. But with that, uh, we will continue where we left off soon. 
Oh great, I'm just- I just can't wait to go into the fade. Oh wait, that's a spoiler. Not a fun one, but it's a spoiler nonetheless. You have to keep watching if you want to know more. See you next time.